has gone both ways on both occasions. Oh. Starting off well, though, Toronto for Oxygen. They'll be able to find Miyuki. And Kellogg's able to answer. Toronto falls as well as Mitez. The Ghost one taps are strong. Looks for a third, but can't quite down, find the big four. And now it's two players left alive for Oxygen. And this will be one nearby, because of course if they lose just one of these players, then that puts it in a one versus left. three and significantly weakens their chances. Oh, that is standing. a really terrible place spike for the spike down. to get dropped. Okay. Needs to go for the challenge, and Mixwell wins two on the trot. And it's a good start for G to done his job. We'll turn the corner, spotted out, needs to go for the challenges, and one found, eight bullets left, but no more kills left in the magazine. But Kellogg's has the knives, we'll try and thread them through, and... Caught out in the open, not going to have the best of times, but either way, they've managed to find two kills already. The wall is there to slow things down, but broken almost immediately. Unity around the side, wants to play point guard here, try and break the team apart. G2, fading away, not giving that opportunity over to Unity. And a flank potentially on the cards. The wall towards mid and the spike getting planted, that's going to trigger the rotate to come through from Nuki. As they trade around the side, Unity finds Colder Mentor and the flank needs to come in. And it needs to come in now. Avova should know that there's two players locked towards the back here. Doesn't know about the third though. Unity playing it safe. Avova wins the trade against Toronto. And another spray underneath the container for Nuki finds Unity. Now last player standing for Oxygen. A good start to the round but needs to do a lot more work here. Can't get it done. And Nuki gets the final. Another nice round for G2, looking very clean Weapons so far, here. even though Oxygen had that weapons advantage that you mentioned, and it really stopped G2 from being able to power forward. That is not happening here. Kellogg's has had so much room to work. We've only had a few rounds down. Okay. He's already been doing great. <laughs> Mixwell too, I guess. Mixwell pogging off uh, over on the A site. Viper shuts the door with Kellogg's backup as well on this jet. It's going to be... Almost impossible to turn this corner. Although they make the first breach. Actually able to get away with the second as well. And they've gained some ground, but at the cost of two, you have to wonder, is it worth it now for Oxygen to keep going here? Are they going to try and move in, or is it going to be head against brick wall? And we all know how that matchup plays. Well... Toronto has got the operator, and he's really someone who can pop off on it, but Kellogg's is really steaming ahead in that category right now. His crosshair is in really the perfect place, but I, Toronto runs away before. I loved that kill so much, you have no idea. He saw the player dropping, and he was like, I'm just going to put it where his head's going to be, and just clicks the button as soon as it drops into place. But Kellogg's trading off yet again, only Mixwell to go down, and Kellogg's racks up three. It looks side of oxygen. The blade storms there, and there you heard that one. Kellogg's dropping them out as well. So they want to go both. They want to invest it. Oh, misses the shot. Unfortunate there as Toronto able to get one. Traded off though, and that's the knives no longer in action. Finds more, and they continue to fly. A different problem for them. Walls everywhere. There's the kill from Avova onto Toronto. It's going to send them into a bit of a frenzy. You should Might run. pull them back as well towards. Uh, the players at the back. There's the lockdown being invested by Oxygen. Oh dear, G2 might just be able to stick this one. If there's time, I think they have it. They're in the advance. And they're just going to go for the defuse. G2, I mean, they're losing a lot of players here, but it doesn't do much to wonder if they're going to be able to make use of it. Down the mid. There we go. There's the kill with, uh, with the Odin. And a second. So it's already found its value. Nice one. Coldementer. Leading from the front in the mid. Just slaughtering anyone who turns the corner. This is a rifle round as well for OXG, coming off a tactical timeout for them, and G2 just giving no quarter. Turn the corner with your ankles on expose. Zistu, you know how that's going to go. And Oxygen is coming apart at the seams here. It's very frustrating as well, because Zistu is one of those players who, who oftentimes you'll watch, and he, he can pop off. Like, he has his moments. And he just has it. I, he has not really done anything in this Spike game so down. far. Attackers then you compare that to someone like Kellogg's. Okay, he finally gets shut down by Toronto, but that's just one death. You know, Toronto's still got three more players that he has to deal with. He knows that they're going to be coming for him as he backs over into the only player who's been causing a problem for them. Colder Mental with the Odin, Nuke with some of these opening kills. We saw Mixwell a couple of rounds ago too. It's just something that OXG have not had an answer for. 
They're just falling like flies time and time again. Call the Mentor racks up another glove. Last standing for OXG. And they have to fall off. Another kill found. Goodness me, G. I'll give you £10 if you can guess which round I'm casting. Because quite frankly, I don't think you could... Uh, you can really figure it out just off that. Zistu, gonna find one, and Unity opens up for a second. Okay, this is a good start. They managed to get the res. Five versus three. What do you got, Coldementor, Kellox, and Avova to deal with? It's gonna be real tricky to make it work. Avova gets away with that one, and Kellox goes down. Oxygen, they might have been able to find an opening, but they need to convert, and it's still... I didn't even notice that. Goodness me, Mixwell. Charlie yeah. playing back a B. It, I, it was Mixwell who we were observing at the very beginning. Kellogg's is here holding mid. He gets one. It's going to be really hard for anyone to really rotate through there. That cloud bust may have given OXG the actual option to get over towards the A site, but they're going to be met with those same adversaries that they've been fearing this entire time. And look at this rotate coming through from Avova as well. They want to get this res on board and go back into this with five. They are willing to give up some ground on the site. Nuki, if you can get a trade, fantastic. Get a little bit more back in. Coldementa back into the fray. Lands the headshot there. Toronto traded it off. Dismiss is in. And Glove shuts it down. But Mixwell finally into the fray. Finds Glove. 28 HP left. Three versus two right now. A G2 on the retake. But they haven't even got that spike in. Kellogg's still going. Toronto with the knives out. But Kellogg's has them too. But it's Mixwell to land the final blow destroyed and it will go through not really too much to do now you're wondering left wondering wh uh, what are we supposed to do now nuki around the side we'll be able to dismiss past this dude finds one to trade it however now they have to play in the Viper's Pit. Zistu does go down. More found for nuki a triple kill on the round unity right in the crosshairs and it's four kills for the final 30 seconds left. Slowing it down. 30 seconds left. G2 spot out a player in mid, but Mixwell actually goes down there. Potentially a dropped ball. And they need to find something else. Mitez playing up close. Looks for the frenzy. Is traded off the spike. Gets dropped. And now G2 have a little bit of control over this A site. But with only two of them, they have their work cut out. Unity fast around the corner. Nuki goes down early. Coldementer now. Left last standing. A really fast tap there. Leaves him in a one versus two. Trade sides. Goes for more. Finds the wall bank. Three kills on the round. Needs to go for the quad to be able to close the round. And he's able to do it. Coldementer for G2. Last match. So this is just what happens. Has to happen. Although... This dude gets the opening pick, maybe looking to eat a little bit into the credit. There. Forward to future streams. Nuki looks for the spray at range for G2, and it's actually Oxygen to close the door just a little bit. Okay, fair enough. Down B. Only one player, and it's Kellogg's. I mean, the guy's been popping off. Is he going to be able to do too much more? No. An Ox the score line that they got <laughs> against Supermassive. So that's you something. It. You had to say it, didn't you? So rude, so rude, Gio. What? <laughs> I am just being informative. Veracity verified. Put a cheeky little sheriff shot to the dome. We'll see Mitez back to spawn for the next round. No res is available. Not just yet. Anyway, Toronto now next to face for the sprays up high and Coldementa domed him as well. The second dink comes in and Glove arranged with a Spectre. Not really the challenge you want to be taking with these sheriffs. G2 have thinned the herd that they're coming up against. This two taken down as well. They're taking the fights at range, Geo, and it's just working. Kellogg's looks for more and gets it. Just Glove now standing. And G2 say, you can do pistol rounds, so can we. Five players still standing in Glove. Is he going to be able to find it? No, not quite yet. As Glove brings them down to four. Spike planted over on the B side in the next game. Oxygen tried to stop G2 going through, and Toronto will tag the backs and drop the spike. Mitez as well chimes on in, but Kellogg's is not done just yet. Finds one, finds two on the swivel, finds three. Dashes back to the rest of the team. However, the spike firmly in control of OXG right now. Unity tries to go for the long range fight and finds Kellogg's finally ending his reign of terror. Avova tries to take the fight at range, but has to fall off. Spike still not in control. Down by the double doors on the passage to mid and spotted out by Glove in the mid. We'll get the headshot. Vova falls. Something that was uncharacteristic to not see. Unity gets the first of the duel with the Bulldog. Mixwell does go down. It's been done. Coldementa getting the kill onto Zistu. It's a four versus four at this point. The attackers have cut the site in half. 
But you've still got meters down by the entrance of cave. Just watching out for anyone who could come in through there. It's just whether he's aware of everyone else's position. He finds Coldementa. Of over will be the death of him. Seconds left. Says will fall. Kellogg's now challenging for glove and will be able to get the kill as well. Formation gathering here and is spotted out by Nuki. Final kill. It's basically a, yeah, for the most part, an eco. And Kellogg's, he loves to stomp him. He will be going straight on through, finding two, and wants to challenge for more. Moving forwards with the Vandal, and he's going to line him up. I mean, why not? Four kills for Kellogg's so far. Hasn't even used the knives, but he'd already have two if he had. Kellogg's. Just dominating here. Unity has the Bulldog, so potential for a long-range fight, but who's that coming over the hill? It's Kellogg's. He hears the updraft, and he knows he's for it. Ace found for Kellogg's. And OXG. So, and not just that, but Toronto is going to have an off as well. And Toronto on the operator has been pretty good. Kellogg's still getting the opening kill, though. Not onto Toronto, however. So the operator's still in play. We did see it work very well against Turbo. Uh, Oh, he, he started to play the game now. He forgot to plug his mouse in, I guess, in the first two rounds. <laughs> He's just coming in and just fragging out his mind. Already two found. Going to be channeling in towards Toronto, who has the operator. Navova moves forwards. Plant coming in. Mixwell's there. And more challenge to be found. Glove, though, wins that trade. Nuki trades it back yet again. And surprise, surprise. Kellogg's definitely does, but he misses the shot. Toronto... Has to fall backwards, actually wants to challenge again, and this time we'll find Coldementer instead. Falls back towards the A site. In comes the Empress, though, for Nuki. But they move in, they want to try and take this fight. Two operators with crossing sight lines here. And G2, they get to the site, they get the plant, but what more can they get? Kellogg's, he gets a kill. I mean, it wouldn't be a round of this match without G2. Kellogg's getting a kill. Unfortunately, that will be all he's going to get. I have no idea how that one missed, but it will do nonetheless. And Nuki lands the retribution. Lands a second as well. And it's his turn to pop off. Mixwell gets the last. The dogs go by one another. Gravity well timed out. Nuki does go down there. Toronto lands the shot. The mid control being vied for. Kellogg's on the operator. So this time around will be on a different big old gun there. And Mixwell does fall. They try to turn the corner and it's denied. Oxygen. A lot of players over towards A, but this time of over moves out effectively. Zistu, though, shuts it down. Won't let them get away with it. Coldementa moving forwards a little bit further than Kellogg's, but they have mid-control here. Spike not in possession. As Kellogg's finds glove. Coldementa wants to challenge over towards Toronto as the shot doesn't land for him. Cyber Cage to just block off that avenue of entry, and Zistu falls. It doesn't matter where he goes. He's just a reign of terror. This guy's even the score lines now. The count of players going both ways. Coldamenta moving back, grabbing the spike, but there's a player to worry about. Toronto lands the headshot with a classic. 38 seconds, and Kellogg's has to do it here. Knives not available. Unity moving up close. First to face. The shoulder's there, and Kellogg's racks up three. Needs to get four to win the round. There's 27 seconds left on the clock. Not much utility, but has... The Tailwind has the updraft in tow. Oh, what? Okay. I, I mean, I think that's fair enough. This dude doesn't want to challenge here. You really don't want to challenge here. But he is going to do it nonetheless. And will go down. Your Just not going to happen. Oh, they kill Kellogg's. Okay. Round open. Let's see what they can do. Last time it was Nuki to just shut this one down. Even when they had killed Kellogg's. But that's an operator potentially in the hand. Toronto already got one. Mixwell looking to try and lead the charge straight on through. Flash over the top, but of over gets it good. Unity will trade it. Now three versus three overall. Snake bite to try and displace G2. And Mitez needs to get for the spray first. Toronto gets one. Mitez gets a second. And now it's all up to of over. Gets one. Look looks for a second, but Unity triples up. Who kills for Kellogg's? Who would win? An entire team of professional Valorant players or one zoomy boy? Mitez, though, goes down and will get traded out. One for one right now. Toronto doesn't quite have the angle they're looking for. Moving the spike actually back towards defender spawn as both players move in. Nuki is going to be backed up by a call the mentor, but Nuki finds the frag. Triple kill on the round so far. Makes it to the pillar as this dude and Glove find one apiece. Spike is there on the site. Call the mentor can pick it up, get the spike in, and it's two versus two for the post plant here. Nice moving in here from OXG, especially when you consider all their utilities over towards A. Hold them into trying to take some shots, but it's going to be Zistu to land that one. It's just a Vova. 
wants to come in from behind. This is pretty huge. Oh, sees the flash. Knows there's another player there. Doubles up. It was actually killing the lockdown uh, as he went for the spray. Uh, well, we'll see. Nuki opening things up. Empress there. Toronto, though, with the knives available. Coldamenta doubles up, though, and Avova gets another. And now it's just Unity. I think you're right. I mean, even when they're killing uh, Kellox, they have to invest so much to do it. And Unity's already dropped the Viper's Pit over on the B site. So that's not going to be available. Quite going down. You have to go for it. Lear, camera, they know exactly where you are. Unity needs to go for the challenge. But it's shut out. You're right, Gio. They can cut. Or is an orb first kill. Going over to auction. They won the pistol in the first half, Gio. And look how that turned out. Here. They already get two rounds off it. And we thought maybe they have a shout, but... G2, real, real strong. Avova looking to challenge, finds one, finds two, goes to the reload, can't find another. With damage already done and given the time of things as well, you've got Kellox moving through. The Sheriff is in. Three shots to Spike be invested there. Has to Tailwind away. Yeah. They might get the plant, but Kellox ever watchful, ever waiting. Plays close, spots one, looks for more, can't quite find it. Zistu going into one versus one and actually gets the quad. bringing out the lockdown as well. Maybe going to push some of those players from G2 aside. I mean, you can see Avova is over by the perimeter of the circle, but Mixwell's still very much within it. And actually, Avova, okay, gets three kills, four kills from where he's standing. Can't quite make it an ace. But damn, G2 really saw that round. They said, you're locked down. Backbone player, Kellogg's vote. Really being the forefront. I've got your trail. Unfortunately, will get taken down. As this dude's really been stepping up for oxygen. I feel like this guy is just keep it on going. And fair enough, finds a second as well. Coldamenta dismantled Mixwell. Where you at? It's your time to shine, maybe. Nuki goes down. So does Avova. Okay, now is your chance. Three players. There. <laughs> Kellox exists. Kellox is in this game. Avova. I mean, I don't really blame you. If if you're OXG, you don't want to kind of just wander into the path. Of anyone, notably Kellox. There's there he is. <laughs> yeah, like that. <laughs> 30 seconds left. All right, and Mixwell gets a second as well. Mites goes down, and Kellox looking to maybe shoot through the wall. No, not gonna go for it just yet. Is this dude? Let's go low. Nuki around the side. And Unity goes for the challenge around the edge. Will find one. So does Zistu as well in the meantime against Coldamenta. But Nuki is still hunting with the Sheriff. Zistu, position given away. Ten seconds under and counting. Seven, six. Has to go for the plant. Has to stick it as well. And in comes the player. But he pops up and gets the kill. Mixwell now with it all to do. Which is a good, but the cloud bursts to cover. And they're trying to move on through. Mixwell shuts one down. As the Seekers come through as well, traded off one for one. Toronto tries to go over the Snake Bite, but that's a lot of damage. The Seekers moving forwards as well. Force Kellogg's to back off, and now in a four versus three, potentially for the retake. They drop this, this uh, Viper Pit coming through from... This is Oxygen's Viper Pit in the post plant. Great old vision obscuring wall here. They control a lot off the ground around the spike and actually dropping it very close to the spike as well means those post plant defuse is going to be very tricky if they can't take down the viper a nice hop up over the wall for toronto finds him one and avova goes down as well shots coming through from nuki but now it's all down to kellogg's looks for more but toronto seals the deal with a swift and managed to find it there's the cosmic divide sealing off the side of the site called a mentor lets one through nuki though finds Sistu in the meantime fade away and actually using the cosmic divide to play that advantage mixwell finds one but goes down along with nuke kellogg soon to fall and now it's just a vova with a long range retake seeker dismounted spike planted as the spike gets planted three players stand for oxygen in this post plant looking to try and even things up moving through and potentially a decent spot here to be found they know the angle that they come from and that's excellent heads up drop there on the viper wall but the position's given away puts the toxin back up finds another now one versus one against toronto of over needs to stand up big for g2 wants to put that 12th on the board worried about the back of sight but clears towards the mid doesn't know where his opponent's gonna be and toronto gets the better end of the deal Three kills on the round being caught. Two Spectres in tow and the rest on the Sheriffs. Not going to be able to stop more than one at the moment, but Nuki doubles up. G2 holding out for now. They were able to get a retake yesterday during the disconnect, but this time around they have the numbers advantage. Only one Spectre still in tow, though. 
And they've got to move through. Unity evens the score lines. Kellox is going to go down and the range is at their advantage. With those phantoms, with those vandals, they'll be able to take those jewels. Moving through, trying to get those flashes. Unity holding on the side of the wall. They check the corner, but it's not going to be good enough. Unity triples up on the round. Doesn't have enough bullets left in the mag. Kanuki takes it down, but there's a team ready and waiting. We're in there, but I don't think you're going to be able to get back in. So that will be dropping that... Force for good for the defense. Not going to be there for too much longer, but a Vova. Not going to let that phase and gets first pick on the hold. This is a crucial round for G2 if they want to end it here and now. Viper's pick for the post plant as they want to get that spike up to the site. Get that spike indentured, planting outside of the smoke, allow the Viper to play inside of it. But Kellogg finds one, Mixwell finds a second as well. G2 want to hold this one, they stop the plant going through for now. As Coldamenta gets yet another spike carrier drop, Mixwell to attack a spawn. This is a really brutal spot if he catches two players here. That could be the round and that could be the game. Looks like Zistu's going to be first up. One of the heavy fraggers for the squad, and that's going to be one early. Spins out wide, dismiss around the corner. Tailwind to try and take the challenge. Continues to spray in the lineup, nearly there. They take Nuki down, but the game's given up. They move back over towards the A site. Kellogg's not going to be taken down just yet. This is the shot, the first on the operator. Will drop the cloud burst to see himself a little bit safer, but in come, G in come OXG to move onto the site. Kellogg's falls as Toronto able to take control here. Coldamenta drops down, but no luck. Mixwell moves through as well. Two players on the retake. Drops the Seekers. Will be spotted. The headshot's good. Spots out the Seeker as well. Looks for more towards the main. Finds two. And now it's all over to Avova. Drops the snake bite. Knows Mitez is where he is. Playing towards the connector. And Mitez shuts it down. And has to go all the way back. Concussion there. They want to chase it up. And that's an early pick for Nuki. Able to find the first shot onto Toronto. No more operator. And that's a lot of money spent. G2. Lining up in the connector, they've sent a Vova over towards the main as well. Glove, gonna get flashed out in response, and Coldamenta falls in the meantime. Even on the numbers, and a long-range kill, traded out again. A Vova finds another, Mixwell, gets even more done, but it's traded evenly across the take. The spike goes in, we're into post-plant, Geo. So you're very still for now. One Mixwell's the remaining. next one to get a kill. It's just Mites versus Mixwell. Mites did get that final blow on the last round, but is he going to be able to recreate it? The answer is no. Ooh, we're only going to play the same game over and over and over again if it doesn't go their way. But G2, potential to win it all on this round. Get them... They go in towards the B. Moving through, the Viper Walls go up and they start to surround of over. This is bold, this is fast. Flash through and gets one. Falls back, looks for more and gets it done. Headshot in and of over playing havoc from the sidelines finds a triple kill a quadra kill for Avova to try and keep G2 in it but Unity finally takes him down but against three what more can be done doesn't have the spike and gets taken